The Ontario Autism Coalition launching a pre-election appeal to voters over funding. So we talked about this just before the hour. The Ontario Autism Coalition says, after years of failed talks with the Ford government, that's the Ontario Premier, it's turning to voters ahead of the June election to bring awareness to their plight. And they're using the hashtag, 50K is not okay. Hmm. So the 50K represents 53,000 children with autism that are on the wait list to access what they believe are core services uh, in the province. So those can include uh, therapy, um, supports, and approximately 40,000 children are now receiving supports, which is five times more children than ever before. Mm -hmm. But they're saying it's not enough because there's over 50,000 that still have not uh, received uh, these crucial services. So, as we talked about on the show earlier this week, yeah, seems very timely, but they're actually doing it because they want voters to be aware of this. Mm -hmm. This is not like a, we're going to throw a bunch of money at this to get your votes. This is a raising awareness um, to the to the issue. This is more of a typical political. It is, yeah. There's, rather mm -hmm. than just spending a bunch of money before your election comes up. For sure. And I know in our home, we were affected by decisions to do with autism. And uh, yeah, some good, some not so good, some political, mm -hmm. uh, just some funding issues and uh, programs and policies and things that, that affected our lives. And so uh, autism is becoming more and more, more people are being affected by mm -hmm. it. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's a huge issue for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just in the defense of the current provincial government, I mentioned before the 40,000 number, which is larger than uh, ever before, nearly five times as much as ever before. Um, they claim we're making positive progress, and uh, we remain on target to launch the independent intake organization and bring 8,000 <clears throat> 8, children into core clinical services by the fall. Hmm. So they claim we're making progress, just wait. Um, but uh, again, to kind of represent both sides, the autism Ontario Autism Coalition says it's not enough and it's not fast enough. Many families uh, are not getting the support that they need. And uh, sometimes these therapy bills, in the article it says, can be upward of sixty or $80,000 a year. Which means, you know, they're remortgaging homes. Yep. Um, especially if you've got more than one child on the spectrum. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's absolutely, um, these are astronomical numbers. There's a lot of costs, a lot of hidden costs too, because uh, there's a lot of diet-related issues uh, when it comes to autism in terms of digestive um, issues and all kinds of things. Uh, dairy, um, you know, adverse reactions to different types of foods like dairy, um, whether it's uh, wheat as well, so there's a lot of gluten issues. So there's 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 a special diet that's necessary which food costs will go up and that's just one small aspect of the costs. That's not even medical or mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. related. That's just uh everyday related. And just to be clear, some of these families are paying that out of pocket. Mm -hmm. They're paying sure. those therapy bills out of pocket because yeah. they're still on the waiting list. Yep. Yeah. Um and yeah, this is definitely an issue um that's that's going to come up before the June election they're saying if you see it on a semi truck 50k is not okay now you know why and you know yep. what that hashtag means exactly you heard it from zach first <laughs> unless you read it first before you might have read it because it, it's breaking news today but yeah you might have read it before for sure but a lot show. of people don't have time to read yet and that's why they're listening to us in the car or possibly watching it on facebook as they're scrolling so it could quite be the first time they heard it today <laughs> Thank you.